Hey everyone, welcome to the live stream, Prop Live from the shop. I'm Bill. I'm Brittany. And today we're going to paint some tiny spaceships. Ta-da! Like this. Or like that. Yeah. These are little model kits that our buddy Xander hooked us up with. He made them. Uh, Xander from Zprops. You go to zprops.net, you can check them out. Uh, over on his site over here. Little Destiny Jump Ships. They're tiny and adorable and they're really, really cool. And we're going to be painting some of them today. Yeah, so we've got our airbrushes hooked up over here. Brittany's got hers over there. And we're just going to get started here throwing down some paint and some color uh, to make our tiny little spaceships look really, really adorable and high tech and cool. All right, the first thing I want to do is paint these little bases here. Uh, these are the, the spaceships go sit snugly on there. And I'm going to paint them flat black. So I've got, um, by the way, all the paints we're going to use today are these Tamiya paints. These are acrylic paints, and they can be thinned with alcohol. They have their own thinner, but this was like $4 for this little container. And this isopropyl alcohol that I got was like a dollar. So... You can thin them with, with alcohol, uh, so that's what we're going to do so that we can airbrush them. So I've got a little bit of this flat black, and I'm just painting this a nice flat black. There we go. I'm going to just point this up here. And that is, it's really dark because it's obviously it's black, but that is the flat black for the base that we have here. And I'll just go, we have a heater uh, over there. Go let this dry over there and then I'll swap out paints and work on something else. So I want to do something special with these. They're really just flat, dark black. Um, so I want to add a little bit to them and I'm going to use graphite. So this is just like a, two, a 6B graphite right here, a 6B graphite stick. And I have uh, uh, sandpaper and I'm just going to dry it off a bunch of graphite powder. I've actually never done this before. Yeah, this is a really fun technique. And that graphite powder I'm gonna just sort of mash it into this paper towel here. And then I'm gonna rub it onto the flat black. Now what's cool is the flat black has some tooth to it. So it will actually pick up a lot of that graphite and gives it this really cool kind of sheen. There's, That's great. Yeah. You learned that from Harrison, right? From yeah. Vul Vulpin Props. He, uh, I think so. He's done so the graphite yours. technique before. Um, so I just grind it and... Here, yeah, let me get a little bit more. You put it right there. Well, I want some. Yeah, if you put it there, we both there can have go. it. We can share it. Can sh sharing is caring, everybody. Okay, cool. And then, okay, now that I've got that finish on there and I'm happy with it, I'm going to hit it with my clear um, Tamiya acrylic paint to seal it all. Otherwise, you'll just get graphite on your hands. So I've just got a little bit of that Tamiya clear in here. And I'm just going to seal it. Alright, so for the next part we have a little bit of metallic paint in our airbrushes here. And we're going to do, there's little metal bits all over the ship. So we're going to hit them with this paint. Uh, we don't have to cover all the parts, we're just going to sort of hit these. Oh, and, and another thing I want to point out too. So all of our pieces here, I didn't assemble it. I figured it would be easier to get paint on everything in little parts. So I took these, these are little pieces of uh, Sintra plastic, and I just hot glued the pieces down. And I should be able to pop those off later when it comes time to assemble them. But with the uh, pieces on these sticks like so, I can get all the way around them for applying my paint. So that's a little, especially for model making, this, this makes such a difference. But anyway, I've got my metallic paint and I'm going to go and just, and I'm looking at my reference here to see where I need it, and I'm just going to add a little bit of metallic paint to my piece. So I've just sprayed metal on the front and rear of this guy, and then I'm going to go put him by the uh, heater over there to dry off. We have these delicate finish uh, masking tapes. This is frog tape, also delicate finishes. And these are acrylics. Now you should let them dry a long time, but I'm pretty confident that this masking tape will not pull it off. See, I can just do a quick up. I can do a quick test. And sure enough, it's not pulling off the paint too badly. 
Uh, so I'm gonna roll with it. Oh, here real quick. So here's a little little bits here. I used a different tape on that one, but those are little bits that are cut out. Um, I'll cover up, up some more, or I'll cut out some more um, masking on here, and then I'll, I'll, I'll show that off. Right in there. There we go. And now I just have to do that for the other side, the mirrored side. Because I have another engine I have to do, so I might as well cut out a bunch of these. I think there my ship is only going to have one engine. <laughs> <laughs> the other one have blown off. Alright, so after all that tedium, I've got all of my masking done. These are all the parts that I want to remain silver. Now I can go over it with my base color here and spray willy-nilly until it's all the base color and it should look fine. So that's the, the base color there. I'm going to leave that masking tape on because I'm going to mask off some um, accents, some yellow accents later. But I'm going to go let this guy dry and mask off the other one. So I'm just going to steal a little bit of Britney's yellow. Just a tiny bit. I don't need very much. And then I'm going to give you that back. My yellow. Uh, but I can use this, uh, just a normal brush. I can just steal it from the, from here. And just very carefully, starting at the bottom where you're not going to see it, brush on a little bit of yellow. Uh, stripe around there. And this will need a couple of layers, I think. I've masked off all the parts that I want to remain gray, and then I'm going to go over it with my airbrush with more of that yellow paint here uh, to apply some yellow. So that's the second layer of yellow, and I'm going to uh, take my masking tape off. I have to be careful because I know that the model is not stuck down to the stick anymore. Just gently taking the tape away. Like so. Got a nice line on the, the front of it there. Um, these little bits will come right off. <laughs> I don't know why I put that in my mouth. <laughs> Delicious. Uh, tweezers are really handy for this. There we go. There is the little part there. And uh, we'll clear coat this. And then it'll get some weathering. But that's basically the, the process there. So I painted on the yellow stripes on this part here, and I've just peeled away the, uh, the masking tape for those. But then I also have the masking tape for the silver parts earlier, so I can take those off now too, which is super fun. I get to see all the different tones that I've laid down. So that's the base sort of color scheme for this, this ship here. And I'm pretty happy with it. Now I just have to go do that a couple dozen more times. Well, that is most of the painting on these little spaceship guys here. We have mostly just the base color done on them. Some a little more decal work to do. And we'll let it dry, seal it, and then do some weathering. What do you think of yours? It's adorable. Yeah. What, what do you have left on there to do? Uh, I did the silver and the yellow. And now I just have some little brown decals. And then we're going to weather them. Yes. We'll do, those, we'll do those later yeah. today because it's time for lunch. But I got to thank you guys so much for hanging out with us on the live stream. We've been doing these every uh, week at Tuesday at noon Pacific time on our live streaming channel over at twitch.tv slash punished props. Punished plops. Thank you for that, Eric Jarman, for sticking that in my head. Um, yeah, so head on over there. Give us a follow. We're going to be doing, we do our, our Thursday's Q&A over there. Um, we're going to be doing uh, these live streams from the shop every week. Thank you guys for watching, and we'll see you all next time from the shop. Bye. Bye.